Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the power of attorney. Yes. Mm-hmm. See, as I understand it, mm -hmm. let's say you did some estate planning. Yeah. And uh, you name somebody having durable power of attorney. Yes. And they get to make all the health decisions. Yes. They get to decide what happens to your money. Yeah. They get to decide any of the directives involving uh, your mental well-being. Yes. And in each of those circumstances, it's very similar to a dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. A protection order. Yes. See, my wife accused me of being mentally ill. Mm. And in uh, section number 9 and 10, yes, the judge agreed with her. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the guy's crazy. So, mm. got arrested on Guam. Mm. Court will review upon motion of the respondent. Yes. The court doesn't have to review it on the motion of the petitioner because mm, she has the power of attorney, too. Now, how can I motion the court without any power of attorney? Mm. Now, protection for minors. Yes. The state does have exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Oh. Jurisdiction of whom? <clears throat> of the petitioner. Oh. The minors. Oh. Or the respondent. Oh. Now, when I think of the state of Washington and how I'm going to sue you right now, because I'm just getting going. I would say that this state, yes, has granted what is known as the power of attorney, yes, for the care, custody, and control of the minors named to an individual that didn't actually sign the protection order, yes, and didn't have any jurisdiction law to motion the court, yes, for the power of attorney of having custody, control, and care of the minors named. Now, this idea that I will be allowed visitation as follows, right? This power of attorney, yes, to motion a court, yep, to obligate me to have to have a mental health evaluation. 